But first, we're joined now from central London by the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock. So we have 5,000 ventilators. Other countries have many times more. Can you guarantee that everybody who needs a ventilator will get one? Meaning doctors into the use of ventilators because so we we're don't going have to have to... That's, that's the frank truth of it, isn't um, it? We don't have enough ventilators. Well, we need, we need more, absolutely. That... So we can't guarantee, can we, that everyone who needs a ventilator will get one? Well, you've heard me say many times that we don't make guarantees in healthcare. Is the government going to be banning gatherings of over 500 people? Well, clearly, as we set out in the action plan two weeks ago, we are absolutely ready to do that um, as necessary. Sorry. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about the government's response uh, to this, because lots of our viewers will be seeing schools closing in Ireland, they'll be seeing shops and pubs closing in France, they'll be seeing the US imposing travel bans, and we're not doing this. And they'll be thinking, why is the UK government so sure that we're right here and all the other countries are wrong? But we will absolutely take the measures that we that, that we think are needed at the right time based on the best scientific advice. You say that it's based on the, same, on the best scientific advice, so why don't you transparently publish that advice and the government's modelling? Because at the minute we don't know how many people uh, are in hospital or in critical care, we don't know uh, the information about how many people are picking up the virus in the UK rather than abroad, we don't fully understand the science uh, behind your approach, we've been talking about herd immunity for a week and today you say that's not part of the strategy. If you're so convinced that this is following the science, why don't you publish it so that people can take it uh, on their own knowledge rather than just on trust? Uh, yes, we're going to do that in the, in, in the coming days. I think that's really important. I agree with you. Um, the, the overall so approach why hasn't it happened in yet the already? plan do, because the whole country uh, is going to have to go through this. And it is uh, being up for debate now. Uh, your approach is being challenged. We've had this letter from hundreds of scientists claiming the government is risking many more lives than necessary by not implementing immediate social distancing measures. Richard Horton, the editor of The Lancet, uh, for example, the medical uh, journal, saying the UK government, Matt Hancock and Boris Johnson, claim they're following the science, but that is not true. The evidence is clear. We need urgent implementation of social distancing and closure policies. The government is playing roulette with a public, this is a major error. Are you playing roulette? 